viewers, we have a big breaking story coming in. The Central Bureau of Investigation is conducting raids in a new case related to alleged violations of the Foreign Contribution Act. As part of its preliminary investigation, the agency has questioned many people related to the case. In fact, searches are underway right now in two locations in Delhi. In fact, CBI is also carrying out uh, premises at NGO founded by activist Harsh Mandar. The CBI registered a case of alleged violation of the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act against this NGO, which was established by Harsh Mandar. The raids are underway. Now, this FIR was registered against Aman Biradri for alleged violation of various provisions of the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act, which is very important viewers to receive funding from abroad to abide by the FCRA, that the regulation for receiving the foreign funding. In fact, uh, in the recent past also, another NGO was shut down because some violations were the FCRA li license was in fact cancelled because some violations were found in the foreign funding receipt of that NGO as well. And in the latest, now the CBI is searching on Harsh Mandar's, is carrying out raids at Harsh Mandar's property. For more on this, I have my colleague Akhil, who is reporting on this latest raid by the CBI on yet another NGO. Akhil, a very good morning to you. Please take us through this raid, which the CBI is conducting at two properties related to Harsh Mandar. Well, absolutely. Right now, we are standing just outside the premises of Center right for Equity Studies. So this is the address where you can see this is the head office of Center for Equity Studies and that the door has been shut. Republic Media Network is the only team which has reached over there at, at the moment when the, when the CBI team entered inside the premises and started raiding. So currently, right now, the raid is going on inside the premises and we try to speak to the uh, CBI officials and they have been telling us right now we cannot speak uh, on this matter because uh, currently the raid is going on at two places one at uh, Harsh Mandar's residence in Vasant Kunj and another raid which is going on here right now where Republic Media team is standing and reporting from live is Center for Equity Studies headquarters this is the head office of Center for Equity Studies so this matter pertains to the FCRA violation case in which uh, a financial aid or contribution from foreign nations uh, have been taken so uh, if you talk about the center of equity studies uh, so this is a research and advocacy based organization which uh, uh, is being raided right now by the cbi team and this is a fresh case of uh, violation of fcr fcra act and we also tried to speak to some of the cbi officials they are right now uh, not uh, ready to speak on this matter because uh, the probe is in uh, a, a very preliminary stage right now and they are saying when the uh, appropriate time will come then we will uh, speak on this matter and and right now currently the raid is uh, uh, going on and earlier what we have seen that uh, home ministry had uh, suspended think tank uh, center of uh, uh, center of equity studies license for 180 days in fcra violation case uh, so uh, currently the raid is going on right now in this case and we, we're still trying to speak to the uh, cbi officials for further updates on this back to you in the studio All right, Akhil, thank you so much for providing us with this latest information. CBI raids are being carried out across two properties associated with Harsh Mandir. Viewers, we'll keep you updated as we receive more latest information and updates in the same. Akhil, thank you so much for joining us. We have another big breaking story in at this hour. The UCC expert committed constituted by the Uttarakhand government meets Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami before the submission of their draft report. After the approval of the UCC draft report in the cabinet meeting tomorrow, it is expected to be tabled in the assembly on the 6th of February.
Now, after receiving the UCC draft, the state government will approve it in a cabinet meeting on Saturday. Now, the draft is likely to be tabled, as I said earlier also, on the 6th of February. If implemented, viewers, this will make Uttarakhand the first state in the country after the independence to adopt the Uniform Civil Code. Calling it a very important day, in a tweet, Pushkar Singh Dhami has said that this is for the state and the people. In fact, for more on this, I have my colleague Madhurima. Madhurima, a very good morning to you. Now, if this UCC is implemented, as I just said, Uttarakhand will become the first state to do so after independence. Please take us through the significance of this moment. Well, Nikita, we are right now uh, reporting uh, from uh, the Chief Minister's uh, residence and as you can see, I'll take you to the visuals over there. Uh, the Chief Minister is going to make an address uh, shortly, but yes, it's a historic day today as uh, the draft of the Uniform Civil Code has been presented by the committee to the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, Pushkar Singh Dhami. And uh, now, now we have the Chief Minister speaking, now we have the Chief Minister speaking, so we can tune into that, but yes, uh, this draft has been uh, has been submitted to the Uttarakhand Chief Minister and now we have the Chief Minister speaking. Back to studios. Sabka Mukhya Sevak Sadan mein aap sabhi ka swagat hai, sabka avinandan hai. Mere saath amari abhi jinho ne kare bhar samala hai. Nai Mukhya Sachiv राधा रतुड़ी जी और सभी उपस्थित हमारे मीडिया के सभी मित्रों मैं सबसे पहले तो आप सबका धन्यवाद करता हूं कि आप सबके द्वारा लगातार जब हमने पहली बार विधानसभा का उत्तराखंड का जो आम चुनाव हुआ था उस चुनाव के समय आप सबके समक्ष हमने ये संकल्प रखा था हमारे प्रधानमंत्री आदरणीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी के मार्गदर्शन में और उन्हीं की प्रेरणा से हमारी पार्टी ने संकल्प पत्र उत्तराखंड की देवतुल्य जनता के सामने रखा था कि नई सरकार के गठन होते ही हम सबसे पहले कोई काम करेंगे तो वो समान नागरिक संहिता को लाने के लिए कमेटी बनाने का काम करेंगे उस दिशा में हम आगे बढ़ेंगे और हमने कमेटी का गठन किया और जो हमने वादा किया था उस वादे को आगे बढ़ाया सरकार गठन के बाद और पांच सदस्यीय कमेटी बनी सेवा निवृत्त जस्टिस रंजना प्रकाश देसाई जी की अध्यक्षता में जिसमें सिक्किम के मुख्य न्यायाधीश प्रमोद कोहली जी हमारे राज्य के मुख्य सचिव रहे श्री शत्रुघ्न सिंह जी प्रोफेसर सुरेखा डंगवाल जी दून विश्वविद्यालय की कुलपति और श्री मनु गौड़ जी समाज सेवी इन पांचों लोगों की कमेटी ने इस ड्राफ्ट को बनाने का काम किया है विभिन्न विभिन्न स्थानों पर गए हैं और ये कमेटी फॉर्म होने के बाद इस कमेटी ने दो और उप समितियां बनाई दो उप समितियां बनाई जिसमें कि इसका प्रारूप तैयार करने के लिए और एक जनसंपाद कार्यक्रम करने के लिए और पहली जो बैठक हुई हमने उत्तराखंड के सुदूरवर्ती क्षेत्र जिसको पहले उत्तराखंड का क्या देश का अंतिम गांव कहा जाता था हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी ने उस गांव को प्रथम गांव की संज्ञा दी माणा गांव और माणा गांव से हमारे जो जनजाति समूह के लोग थे उनके साथ संवाद हुआ और संवाद में लगातार पूरे प्रदेश के अंदर तैतालीस स्थानों पर जन संवाद के कार्यक्रम हुए लोगों से उनकी राय ली गई उनके विचार जाने गए और उसके पश्चात वेब पोर्टल लॉन्च किया गया और वेब पोर्टल लॉन्च किया गया और वेब पोर्टल में दो लाख दो लाख तैतीस हजार लोगों ने अपने विचार दिए और प्रदेश के लगभग दस प्रतिशत परिवारों का इसमें कहीं ना कहीं उनके विचार सम्मिलित हो गए और यह देश का पहला ऐसा काम है समान नागरिक संहिता का 
जिसके लिए इतनी बड़ी संख्या में यह पहला उदाहरण है कि दस प्रतिशत लोगों ने प्रदेश के अंदर अपनी राय इस पर रखी है और उनकी राय के आधार पर हम आगे बढ़े हैं समिति ने अभी तक बहत्तर बैठकें पूरी की हैं और आज उन्होंने हमको अपनी रिपोर्ट दे दी है और मैं विशेषकर से चूंकि समिति में रंजना प्रकाश देसाई जी की अध्यक्षता में जो समिति है वो समिति हमारी बहुत विद्वान लोगों की समिति है और उन्होंने बहुत इस पर परिश्रम किया अनेकों स्थानों पर गए दिल्ली के अंदर भी उन्होंने जन संवाद के कार्यक्रम किए और सब विद्वान लोगों के विचार उन्होंने संकलित किए हैं और आज हमको इन्होंने ड्राफ्ट सौंप दिया है 